Imagine being given an ultimatum by your parents. Attend college or start a business with the family. Now, if you have never particularly been interested in academics, the choice is clear. And that's the exact choice the sons of Janie and Jerry Merle made to set up Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Let's take a look at this venture's journey, which became the United States' fastest growing food chain. Jerry grew up in northern Michigan. Like all parents, his mother encouraged him to study hard or else end up flipping burgers for a living. But young Jerry wasn't phased. In fact, he was intrigued. You see, he was rather fascinated by a burger joint across town. Everyone in town ate there, even though the owner couldn't care less about hygiene. He even went as far as to pet his cat while cooking burgers. But what was even more surprising was that his customers knew and didn't care. Better yet, they queued up for his burgers. They even had a special name for them, Fur Burgers, thanks to the cat. How was this possible? Simple. The burgers were just that good. This experience left a lasting impression on Jerry's mind. He realized that as long as there was good food, people would come. He had to wait for a while until he could use this knowledge in life though. Jerry completed high school and went to study economics at the University of Michigan. After he graduated, he made a living selling bonds and stocks. Jerry also married soon after college and had three sons, Jim, Matt, and Chad, from his first marriage. After separating from his first wife, Jerry married Janie, and they had a son named Ben. When the time came for their oldest son to think about what they wanted to do after high school, their father presented them with two choices. One, continue with their education, move to college. Or two, open up a restaurant as a family. The boys decided that college was not for them and agreed to the idea of the restaurant. Jerry thought this was a great way to keep the family connected and couldn't have been happier. The decision was made. Janie and Jerry pulled out the saved college tuition and funded the restaurant instead. When the time came to think of a name for the restaurant, they didn't look far. Jerry had four sons and with him, they were five guys. Why not just name the restaurant after the people working there? And just like that, the first Five Guys restaurant was opened in Arlington in 1986. Even with the business up and running, Jerry decided to continue his day job at AXA Equitable to be on the safer side. But he didn't really need it. The restaurant was up and running in no time. They focused on burgers and fries, which became roaring successes because of their uniqueness. Everything was particular, down to the last ingredient's placement. The fries were to be shaken exactly 15 times. Let me light one of these joints on fire. <laughs> Mm. You too. Dig that, dig that fry right there. Onions and bacon were to be put below the patty and tomatoes and pickles above it. And the strangest part was no timers were to be used in the kitchen since Jerry believed that a good cook would know when the food is done. Though this meant that the chefs had to be extremely attentive, but it paid off. While their recipes were known for being far from healthy, they became popular nonetheless and are surprisingly still followed strictly to this day. With such success comes the pressure of expansion. Everyone advised Jerry to take to franchising. However, he was reluctant since he didn't think that they could transfer the culture and control the quality. But soon, Jerry realized how difficult it was to finance his expansion plans. Banks thought he was getting too ambitious when he said that he wanted to compete with the likes of McDonald's and Wendy's. Left with no option, he decided to franchise the brand in 2003, going against his intuition in the process. His sons had been pushing for this move for years, so they were excited about the move. This took the company to unanticipated heights, making it the fastest growing food chain within a few years. Along this journey, Jerry and Janie had another child, Tyler, who replaced Jerry as the fifth guy. Since then, Five Guys refers to just the children. However, no one was fooled. Jerry still pulled all the strings of the business, and thankfully so, because credit for the restaurant's fast and rapid growth is attributed to Jerry himself. He remained firm from the beginning about how he wanted to run his restaurant and says that his only good decision along the journey 
was to stick to his guns. Jerry, however, took the phrase "stick to your guns" to a new level when the restaurant refused delivery, even to President Barack Obama. Yes, you heard that right. Even the United States president had to wait in line for a burger from Five Guys. Jerry had a history of refusing delivery to top government officials, and he even declined a request form from the Pentagon. He insisted that deliveries made the food cheap and put out a large sign outside the restaurant saying, "Absolutely no delivery." This is just one instance of Jerry going against the tide. Despite popular demand, the restaurant did not introduce milkshakes for a long time because that would mean making their own ice cream. Jerry refused any other methods. If they made milkshakes, they would do it right, which they thought they couldn't. If you haven't realized already, the perfectionist in Jerry will not settle for just any ingredients. He wanted the best and nothing else. This is why they order their potatoes only from Idaho. They happen to taste the best. When hurricanes ruined the tomato crop and pushed their prices high, many franchises thought of ditching tomatoes entirely because of the costs. But all of Jerry's sons refused to entertain the idea. They knew this move could start a downward slide for a restaurant that has never compromised on quality. At Five Guys, food is the foremost priority, so their decor is simple and understated. Jerry is dead set against expanding the menu. Unlike many of their popular counterparts, who are always adding new items and local flowers, simplicity is the soul of efficiency. After all, while one would assume that not paying heed to customers' demands paves the way for failure, Five Guys has proved otherwise. Thanks to his childhood experiences, Jerry has been convinced that they could make it with just good burgers and fries. When you give customers 250,000 ways to order a burger, it's probably a good thing that there isn't a milkshake to go along with it. Yes, it's true. There are 250,000 possible combinations to order a burger at Five Guys. So where are the Five Guys who help make all this happen? Today, Matt and Jim visit stores across the country. Chad monitors training, Ben picks the franchisees, and Tyler runs their bakery. From the time they started, they have come a long way, and Jerry is more aware of it than anyone else. In the early days of the restaurant, Jerry saw his sons fighting with mops and buckets. While they don't do that anymore, loud arguments in the discussion room are not uncommon. During such times, Jerry could not be more grateful for soundproof rooms. However, the Five Guys have worked out a systematic way of resolving differences, and it helps that each of them has a specific role in the business. When Jerry decided to start the restaurant with his sons, he knew that he's taking a gamble. It worked in everyone's favor. Years after starting as a family venture, Five Guys has over a thousand locations worldwide. There does lie work for them in the days ahead, though, as Five Guys aren't the best favored burger restaurant among millennials. However, their belief, commitment, and quality have brought them this far, and will surely take them forward too. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. It does wonders for the YouTube algorithm, so more people can see our videos, and so that you can be notified when we launch our next video. We try and put out at least one new one per week, and as you can imagine, the research and editing alone of these type of videos takes us close to 18 hours. So we would really appreciate it if you could also check out our Patreon. For just one dollar a month, you can support. Our work. We produce over 12 videos per month, so that is literally eight cents per video. Thank you so much, and we'll see you at our next unmasking.